If you can hear me, hit me with a two if it's like really fucked up or whatever. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. There's a one. There's another one. One, 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 one. All right, y'all. Throw the whole fucking community away. Okay. Hey, healing arts. Sun goddess is here. Travel and be free. Yeah, travel and be free. I agree with that shit wholeheartedly. Hey, Julie, you up on the screen. Pretty goddess is here. Who else we got in the building? We have Dive is here. Fire Corral is here. Jennifer, how are you? We have XXSS. She says, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I hope y'all had a good Tuesday. Y'all, this community is trash. And I, I know that you know that. I say that shit every time I get up here. I want you to know that it's not... I usually just drag the Dusties and give the mammies a little bit of smoke. But the whole fucking community is trash. It doesn't matter who it is. If they are still feeling SJWE, Yeah, just made that up. SJWE about that group of folks... Yeah, if you identify with that, you're trash as well. And I want it to be known that I'm going to go ahead and say that to your face. The reason I'm saying throw the whole community away is because you guys have been told, right, that you're not choosing correctly, that you're choosing from a poor group of black men, that you're always, like all of you baby mamas out there are pregnant by one motherfucker. 
all of y'all picked that one motherfucker, right? That's what we were told. That's what we've always been told. But let's go ahead and debunk that bullshit real quick. Everybody from the homeless Dusty all the way up to the famous Dusty is a piece of shit. Hashtag all from one to one hundred, they are trash. I want to make that clear. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and give some examples of why the fuck I'm saying this. Right? Share screen. Let's go. And for those of you that are sick of hearing the same message, I want to direct you to the upper right-hand corner of your screen. There's a little X there waving at you. Hey, hit it. Now, don't be scared. It's just stay dusty. Let's do a moment of silence real quick for this dusty. SJW Mammies, I want you to know he's your creation. He's your creation. He's the one that you said that the folks and the system was being too hard on. He's the one that you said that should not be a victim and he should, you know, not have to pay bail to get out when he want to fuck us up. He should be able to get whoop ass and then come out and whoop ass again for free. What does this shit say? <clears throat> Ebony Phoenix, what the fuck does that say? The uh, man busted for assault set free, allegedly beats two random NYC women, then cut loose again. So thank you, Mammies. I'd like to put that out there. He was able to get back out because he's one of those ones that benefited from the law that you guys marched about. A homeless man charged with beating a guy, right? They put him in jail. First of all, he's 23. Can I get a shout out for 23 the hard way? When I first saw his fucking face, I thought this motherfucker was clearly 50. Okay? I thought he was 50. But his new victims, because of you, mammies, were random women that he didn't even know. Random women from the street. One, thank you, K. Sloan. I appreciate your super chat. One of the victims were cut across the face so bad that she's not recognizable anymore. Nobody has to be hyperbolic about what the situation is with these niggas. So congratulations to you, Mammy. Now, it's easier for a motherfucker that looks like him to get arrested after fucking somebody up, a violent crime, mind you, right? Get back out the same week and come and get one of us. I propose that you come give him some of your ass because we didn't offer any ass. You offered ass. You offered it. So I feel like you should be the one to give it. Welcome to the panel, Aim for the Durag. Hey, DZ. Hey, ladies. Hey. Good evening. Melanie, yeah. can, you, can you please help me with this, Melanie? Because I'm, I'm legit frustrated about the fact that you can beat ass and, and get right the fuck back out and beat more ass and then get out again. I hope y'all understand what happened. He beat up a man, got arrested, let out. Beat up and cut two women, got arrested, and he's back out awaiting his court date with an ankle monitor. First of all, how do you put an ankle monitor on a homeless person? Somebody please help me. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. They don't even have a physical address to be in. Yeah, I'm, and and again, isn't this the system that they so called, you know, always screaming that's oppressing? It's oppressing them, and that's the reason why they're not successful in today's society. Like, I don't understand. As I thought far, the system was oppressing you. As far as as far as him getting out and all that stuff, he's just one of several mm -hmm. that this has happened to, and this is what happens. When you shout, fight, stomp, and scream yep. about them being in jail and mm -hmm. oh, another black man lost to the system. Well, this is what happens when you want them out. 
Correct. And so I don't feel sorry for these women. You know, what Mammy's revenge is here. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I mean, again, every protest, they're at the front line screaming the system is going hard on their black man and on their black kings and mm -hmm. i'm sorry this is the consequences and 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 i'm sorry i don't feel bad for them and this is I don't. why you cannot fool with the collective of them it's getting to that point where you're gonna have to vet all these different women as far as being yes colleagues and being friends you can't even do that you can't even do that no more yeah dz can you do a panel on that like how to vet the mammies Listen, because I can um, do a panel on it, but, but yeah. here's the deal we can talk about it all night. If I see you entertaining black men on any level and it's not your job that you pay your bills with, I'm just gonna assume that you're a mammy because they dangerous. I don't look, you have no reason, no good reason to be fucking around with a Dusty that's not either related to you, and we'll get back to that in a second, or works mm -hmm. at your job. If you are fucking with them on your free time, I'm going to assume that you're a mammy, whether it be social media or whatever. Not all is another issue for me. Catch the spirit of what I'm saying here. Nobody's out here acting like a maniac. Generally speaking, your men are trash. So Fact. I'm going to I'm going to assume that if you take up for them in any way that you got a little bit of mammy in you. You got 3 Ms next to your birth certificate, bitch. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what? Th not 3 Ms, DZ. Jeez. <laughs> three, three, I mean, I'm sorry, but um okay, Ebony Phoenix uh aka Divested OG here. Um okay. This is like nationwide okay mm -hmm. this is not uh we're not playing the the wave is here the chickens have come to roost this mm -hmm. is what you bought <laughs> for all your marching your screaming your bitching your advocacy this is what you bought ladies this is what you bought so you know what somebody with his eyes that close together he coming towards me <laughs> His face won't even be on his head anymore. And don't you dare come to me and say, well, she shouldn't have shot him like that. I'll shoot 10 more times and I'll get you too. This is bizarre. This yeah. is why everybody thinks you're an idiot. This mm -hmm. is why every other community in the world thinks you're a damned idiot. This is what you're marching for. Not for better education, not for better student student loan terms, not for better jobs. This, these are the people you're marching the streets for, putting your little baby girls out there going, yo, just this, no peace, and she don't even know what that means. Period. But this is what you bought. That's what I don't understand. It's like, you're hard-pressed to find us come together for equal pay or get this for the schools or, you know, discrimination in certain workplaces or, you know, just certain issues, I guess, that black women have faced over the years. Well, they will they won't do anything like that. But when it comes to these cicadas, oh, they're going they're going to bat for it. You can't move for them. The cicadas, the cicadas are more important than you and your own damn kids. Apparently, the, this is this is what I, I don't understand with the mammies. Mammies, I have a question for y'all. What exactly are black men doing in the community? What are mm -hmm. they providing? What resources are they providing for the community, at least to you, that you feel the need to constantly be at the front line at every protest? Always on these say, goddamn internet. Go if ahead, they DJ, say sorry. anything other than dick, they're lying. Mammy, <laughs> if you say anything other than an erect shit log you're <laughs> lying they and don't why get on control our case? nothing why get on our case if we don't want the shit log that's more shit log and semen for you what I'm trying to figure out is why y'all want to fight for a group of people who have to go to McDonald's and get on fucking Wi-Fi <laughs> okay so that was wrong you know what I'm done I'm going on mute on that one. <laughs> it, can make, it can make sense out here in these YouTube streets. So, Niggas be in jail on the internet. I can't. So we got the the homeless Dusty. 
right? Because remember, we said that they told you that you chose wrong. Well, maybe you should get someone with an apartment or maybe a, a, a job or maybe is a little professional, huh? Hmm. I wonder, will that improve the situation? Let's see. Let's see if that improves, improves the situation. Let's call. Hmm. Hmm. That didn't improve the situation. Do you understand? And this is another thing. This is the one from the diaspora. The one that you're told to go get because they are better than the ones from the United States. Yeah, this is one from the diaspora. This motherfucker here is a leader in the school system in Tampa touching raw feet of boys. What the hell? I said what I said. This Stinking motherfucker. freak. What the hell? Feet though? He has Bastard. at least six male victims from King High School. And listen, I used to live in Florida. King High School, it, 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 it has a lot of a lot of black city citizens there, okay? Um, taking the boys' shoes off and touching their feet. Can someone from the African diaspora tell me, is it culture? Because he's in a little bit of trouble here, y'all. He was grooming. Yes, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, <laughs> Um, I'm confused by y'all. Tonight, it's throw the whole community away. So, so far we've established from homeless, in between, and professional Dusties. If you pick from that crew, you're, you're fucked up. So, I guess you need to pick from a rich Dusty? I don't know. I don't know. Welcome, unapologetic. Are you interested in talking to an African man that likes boy feet? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. I cannot. They ain't no different across the world, shit. They all niggas to me. Everywhere. That's what I, I've always said that. A yes, dusty is a dusty no matter how much money he's got in his pocket, no matter what he owns. No matter who he screws, no matter what church he goes to, no matter what he says, a Dusty's a Dusty. And that Patricia, is a fact. Anybody that's saying black men is God, God is, is, is a freak. God is a Dusty then if, they, if the black <laughs> men is God, point blank, period. So a Dusty just... is a Dusty with a taco, some fucking foo-foo. <laughs> like, they Dusty. Like, I want y'all to just... Egg it can't be that good. It can't be. I'm with you on that one because it's like how how you keep falling for a broke dick, a dick that's that's willing to kill you any second. Like I don't understand. Y'all just choosing wrong. Y'all choosing wrong. Let's <laughs> let's see if we got with someone from the Blackistani crowd that actually has something going for himself. You know, he's accomplished and got a little bit of money young and what they call handsome because I haven't seen a handsome one yet but let's go I think Ew. some of the mammies would think he was handsome right I, is this a handsome dusty somebody somebody let no. me know is this, no thanks I, I, I won't be able to sleep tonight come on like what is this his forehead is going like back it's like <laughs> His Y'all. eyes are really close together and his forehead is just doing a slide. It's Yo, weird. Y'all remember the uh, squirrel off of Ice Age? <laughs> Scratched. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a sip of my water. That's really, y'all, like the, like, the more they procreate, the more inbred that they're looking. Like, they just look off to me. I don't, he kind of looks like a, one of Santa's retarded elves to me. Well, let's see what he actually is, y'all. He is the star of the remake, this, the movie Superfly. Now, first of all, 
why y'all in Blackistan are making remaking Superfly, I don't know because it glorifies pimp culture, but whatever, right? He's up to 30 sexual assault victims. This oh, wow. is a so-called accomplished dust that we know of. Right. Wow. When this was sent to me, I, ironically unapologetic, I sent that right back to her. I said, that we know of. That came exactly. forward. That's a low number. They don't, they tend, especially if they think that Dusty has something, has something going for him, they will not come out. And well, apparently he has something going for him. I mean, he's a fucking movie star. He did so well in that movie. The remake was awesome from what I understand. And he around here, not having to snatch snatch, because I'm going to tell you, it's a lot of mammies that would give him a piece of ass, but he chose to snatch it. I mean, he looked like his chromosomes is doing all kind of somersaults. <laughs> it looked yeah, like he had like slug. three Ys, three Y chromosomes there. All messed up, jacked and up. He yeah, he looks slow. Chromosomes on um, 21, so. And then they got the nerve. To... <laughs> and then the ad's going to put an extra dusty in the corner. I right, can't. This, uh, yeah. yeah, I can't. Like, I'm going to scroll up a little bit because that, uh have y'all been it. seeing what's um, that shit on his chin? Those damn YouTube ads where it's niggas like they giving niggas jobs, like they promote niggas on Uber and shit. And I'm just like, <laughs> wait, on Uber? Yeah, like there's Uber <laughs> eats fucking commercials on YouTube, and I'm just like, don't nobody. Niggas don't follow directions. I'm telling you, anytime a nigga has to take care of my order, he don't know how to get in. He and if a bitch is um fucking niggas, she the same way. And I can tell. Because all, all the other women, they do not have a problem. But if they fuck niggas, for some reason, <laughs> they can't follow directions either. I, 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 had to nigga in the car. I was like, I knew it. That's why, bitch. First of all, if you don't have a first of all, if you're gonna have a mustache, I'm gonna need you to have a f- fucking mustache all the damn way. What's Sasha, ugly as fuck, Sasha X <laughs> That's the comment of the goddamn day. That's the comment. <laughs> How come they can't complete nothing? They always got a struggle beard, struggle damn mustache. Yes, and why his lips leaning like that? The bottom one. What's you know what he's been. You know what he's been doing. Uh uh-uh. uh. Hell of- okay. If this guy is a movie star, then I need to put in my application. Who's with me? Because <laughs> I'm sorry. Really? Well, Blackistan says someone that looks like him qualifies to be a pimp in movies boy i don't want to see the rest if this one qualifies as a pimp okay blackistan has a collective low iq so let's <laughs> move on hey i don't understand this bitch look like a honey bun what the hell <laughs> come on man y'all gotta stop let me go on you because <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. i the just hell? i'm stunned y'all we don't need any more receipts. We absolutely don't. Y'all, from every, every from homeless to movie star and everything in between, the athletes, the rappers, the teachers, the lawyers, the doctors, all of them are dusty. I hope I've answered that question because I am so tired of what if he dot, dot, dot. But what if he was dot, dot, dot. Just, just show me, just show me where he comes from. Show me a picture, and I'll tell you right then if he does see or not. And then, Easy. yes, yeah. ma'am. I was gonna say this is bishop like a dot dot dot. Come on, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, like you know what? Let me chill. Lady Conjures, your uh, mic is not connected. Twelve gauge surprise. Are you dusty? Y'all hold your earphones. This is not enough, but I had to change my name. Oh, <laughs> there are people out here. I got I got some dusties uh, threatening me. So what's new? I uh, mean, it's real new, but I'm I let them know, baby. You are gonna get a twelve gauge surprise. It ain't gonna be no Glock or nothing. You know, it's gonna be closed casket. So mm. they but no. continue to threaten. I got like four or five threatenings this morning. Oh, Death I know, but I mean, one. like I call, I'm calling the sheriff tomorrow. Oh shit! Um, no, no, this was regarding something that went on in the track community: potential misappropriation of funds. Oh, and I brought it up 
um, because the other women were scared to say something and I said something and apparently this person went off a hinge. He's a cry racial though. So he has a dusty daddy and a um a well, colorless mama. Surprised. Yeah, and it's 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 um it's it's it got to that point to the point where I had to um call some folk and then I um am going to go ahead and handle things the appropriate way. I've contacted necessary coaching affiliations, coaches organizations. I've contacted oh I'm going to contact his HOA tomorrow. Um and See, I'm going to send they, a police they, report. A, a Dusty can have an HOA. Oh, he everything does. in he, between. He looks very good on paper. Oh, he also sells <laughs> drugs. So that's in violation of Florida Statute 893.13. So I'm going to go ahead and mandatorily report that to the DA, which I've already sent that um, to one of my friends. So y'all finna just fuck his whole life up. Um, okay. GZ. Yes. Ladies on the panel, I, I need you to do me a favor. Look at that picture. Imagine him with white skin. Wouldn't he look mm. like a hillbilly? Mm. You know what? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if his parents are related. Because he gives That's in, what I'm saying. Thank he you. He gives an inbred. Like, Thank not you. inbred. He really do, yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all ever gotta. seen a, a white, like, monkey? I'm sorry, like... <laughs> an albino monkey? Albino, <laughs> yeah, albino <laughs> ape? Yeah, let me, let me go and mute off that one. Oh my God. Y'all ladies, I don't know what on earth these mammies are drinking or smoking, but here's the deal. <sighs> it, it, it's on tap apparently because there's a ton of these bitches out here. So like she was asking about doing a panel where we vet mammies. <laughs> That's easy. Just let them talk. Let them talk. Yep. And they're going to paint themselves in a corner that they can't get out. And then they're going to call you a bitter bitch. That's what they're going to do. Yep. Right. I just saw so, a room on Clubhouse oh. that said, Black men are kings. I don't care what y'all say. And I was like, mm. nope. Okay. All right. It's the cognitive dissonance for me. It's like, Thank you. pay attention yeah. to what's going on. Like, kings murdering you. Like, what? It, nobody wants to, like, I remember when you did that special DZ, that show you did when you covered the Atlantic slave trade. Like, nobody really wants to go back to the original violation. Like, how do kings sell their, their mothers and their children and their brothers? Is that what we do? Like, that doesn't make any sense. I've seen this dumb shit. I'm about to get mad all over again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she queen of the HPV. Uh, yes. Because, baby. <laughs> Crimson Chin now. Y'all ever seen... Uh, God is still shouting. What'd you say? Is what that... You... Wait a minute. Is that a real title? Is that what I think it is? No, she that she gonna say, oh, as long as he cheat respectfully and don't bring me no baby or no STD. I'm what like, is cheating shit. respectfully? I'm, I'm getting upset. What is that? Well, you the finna get don't embarrass upset. her. Y'all finna get real upset. See, because I'm tying this together to these three articles that y'all just saw. Uh -huh. These uh, these are the type of women that they try and go for a goalpost that don't exist. Now we have to accept cheating. Now we, I mean, what are y'all not willing to accept? But listen to this stupid ass bitch. And yeah, fair use. Okay. This is a dumb bitch, y'all. Let's go. I believe in cheating respectfully. I never tell my man like, oh, you can go cheat on me. So cheating respectfully to me is cheating where I don't find out. Is having control over your other women. Is using condoms and not having babies. Like... What type of men do you think this motherfucker dates? Now, I'm going to tell you, I've never seen an episode of this show. But do you think she's talking about non-black or black? She was on Bad Girls Club. Black. She fucked her face up. She did not used to look like that. I she remember really? she was on that show. She sure was on Bad Girls Club. She didn't used to look like that. That she, bitch I'm sorry. Crazy. She, she looked like I'm sorry. Girl. There's, mm -mm. There's a rap song called Dumb Girl. Stupid mm -hmm. ass bitch. <laughs> dumb girl yeah. I remember that song <laughs> thank you and that is dumb. those vibes are coming out right now I'm yeah, sorry she, yeah she's had a lot of work done yeah she keep Asia she, she the bitch that keep BV that you Ooh. want the bitch that coochie don't work that's her y'all she's stupid who on the panel uh, last week said you, you ever look at a bitch and you can tell she <laughs> fuck niggas me that was, yeah oh. that's her that's <laughs> what you're talking about yeah you can tell they have a certain look the fuck is wrong? With, what is you know what? Let me shut up. Cause... Crimson chin, man. Look, and <laughs> not only do they have a certain look, they have a lot of damn same manner mannerisms. 
they and they all... dress alike. They have the same allure. I've noticed yeah. that they yeah. have the same. <clears throat> all of them look as though they want to be the girlfriend of a rapper, and you can, you can tell that that's who they date. Something else that they have too. They don't like other women. A lot of these type of women can't stand other women. You ever heard a black woman say, all my friends are male because I can't get along with bitches? Yeah. Watch that bitch. Watch that yeah. bitch. Because there's no yeah. way on earth you should not be able to get along with another woman that has not put you in danger and actually telling you how to get the safety. Right. Those women, I've heard so many women say that they don't get along with other women. Ain't even met the person. It's because they I, hate I, women. They I do. can't get along with the men. I've heard, I, I have a problem with the fellas. I've heard but, several, uh, I've heard several but, black women say, I don't like none of these hoes, but all my friends is niggas. Yep. Right. And these is not lying. Random. They will compete with you. These is telling the truth. They will compete but with those you. those women have the lowest like, self-esteem of anybody. Yep. yep. The they lowest. They for niggas. Right. They compete for broke-ass shit logs. Like, girl... Like, no. yeah, I can't let her go some more. Oh, I don't even know this child. Mm -mm. Leave because believe it or not, your man is cheating. But I'm not leaving my man over a one night stand with a period. I'll only leave my man for three three things. You bring me home an STD, you have a baby on me, or if you gay. Well, so you just got to stop fucking niggas. The period. Wow. I was just fixing to say that. <laughs> I just, what I you can't. mean? What you mean? That's what they do. That's what they are. She just gave right. three reasons why <laughs> most black women have to stop fucking with them. And, and you just described a dusty sis. <laughs> all of them, by the way. They all on that spectrum. We'll get to that in a second. Everything else is work That's outable true. for me. Yeah. Like, period. I, I used to say that there was levels said. to cheat. It's levels. So, you know, you yeah. get up. That don't mean nothing. Yeah. But, you know, don't bite a bitch nut and don't make her feel special. Right. What? Don't bite a bitch nut. She, I can't. And and, <sighs> and don't make her feel special. Can you see the hatred for other women that she had? Don't make her feel special. That was on her list. Don't make a bitch feel special. That is a woman that does not like other women. Why don't you like other women, sis? It's because of the dusty dick. Do Let's they know it only takes one real. time to get a fucking STD? Like, I'm confused. And, and they all got the same talking points as those men. Don't do nothing yep. wrong. They sound just you like know when those ladies get older, they end up bitter. They're still trying to compete for men who don't want them. And they mm -hmm. still hate women. They always going to hate women because they see you as an obstacle to the <laughs> ultimate prize. The ultimate prize in the black community is what? A shit log. It doesn't matter if he's homeless, he's a teacher or whoever. We just proved that because we got motherfuckers marching for people to get out of jail to whoop more ass. People sexually assaulting folks and they already famous. People touching children's feet at the high school. I must take a sip of water on that. Mm -mm. <laughs> I can't stand y'all. I can't. There's no way that I'll stand up and profess I can't get along with other women. Other women ain't your problem. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's that is true. The, and I, Mammy's go ahead, got babe. okay with me after a while once they figured out I wasn't interested in black men in general. But then they started hating me again because I guess the guys hate me. So then they hate me too. It's like mm -hmm. you don't have a brain of your own. No, I'm glad that's you exactly that's how it works. Yeah, because I was exactly about to say that too. Works. Like, first, they're cool with you because they realize you don't want to bang the shit log and then all of a sudden they're not cool with you because they either one feel like oh you think you better than them because you don't want the shit log or they just dislike you because the shit log hate you too it's weird i don't get it <laughs> it's I, I really don't get it i I'll, I'll never get it i will the forever. black community is prostate centric you can it never is get rid of the black woman Throw the whole fucking community away. Mm -hmm. right. Throw it away. Especially the male identified women because they're, they're additional <laughs> dusties. Let's just keep it real. Yeah. Um, but they, if they you do, do that, work. if you do that, you throw them in the trash, Oscar the Grouch wouldn't even want their asses. Shit. 
uh, look, somebody need to come get them because I'm done. These the bitches you gotta worry about when you want to get when you get your head blow knock the fuck off. These mm-hmm. are the bitches that set you up. That's true, yeah. and That's also okay. trying to figure out what you did to deserve it. Right. She just said, "Don't treat her special. Don't make her feel special, girl." Mm-hmm. There's one on here with a half a bit of sense. I'm gonna give her half, but um. You could tell she she takes shit log by the pound too, but let's go. You don't even do that. Don't, don't make her feel more special because, yeah, than me. Yeah, she can't be more, more special, special than me. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. I believe that a guy can love you and cheat on you. I'm sorry, I believe it. Guys are built different. You don't than have us. to be sorry. I've I've been. Who she sound like? Whole tips. Men are built different than women, so they have to have more than one pussy. I don't know why you bitches won't accept that. Because, bitch, we don't have to. We don't have to. Actually, they say women do better when they have more than one man as opposed to men with more than one woman. But we won't Thank you. Thank you. Since we want to be hotel. Life that I live and you live with Shug, that kind of came with the territory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm I'm an artist and I'm around rappers. I'm I work with these people and I know that that's just the lifestyle. It's just yeah. a part of the life. More excuses. That's another mammy sign. Whatever's wrong with a Dusty, there's a reason why it's wrong with them. Either he but, was born that way or the system made him that way. They're just never bad people. But she, you know, she low key them, said the same she thing. Don't tell them that she don't fuck with that shit. But Wendy mm-hmm. Williams said the same thing, and now she's in a damn wheelchair. Yo. Mm-hmm. No money, damn wheelchair, okay? As a woman, fuck all that. Like, she is not the end all be all for me. How could you have this whole man list with all these requirements of how you want your man to be and then be okay with him cheating on you? Like, I'm just confused. I don't think you should put that out in the air like that. Don't what? say that. What like cheating ain't the end all be all. Don't speak that like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like when you say that, it's like I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a realist. That's the part no, I was waiting you for. The dumbest. That you fucking the wig. Right. The hell. Oh, no, you that's just simple minded. That's the part I was waiting on. So y'all, she says she's a realist. When we say that we're a realist, that's a problem. You are real as saying that they will cheat. Okay, I'll give you that. We say they're dusty, and you have a problem with that. That's part of it, whore. If we, say, if we say they're dusty, they say we're extremists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm she's, a real, she's, she's a realist who's willing to risk her life for a dusty. That's why it's acceptable. Yes. yes. Well, they always say that we're like, who hurt us? And all this other shit because we just we have so many experiences with black men and that's why we are extremists. Like no bitch, like you any all the other races see it. All the motherfuckers see that these motherfuckers is like killing us, but no, no. Let's let's blame the women that these men are, you know, antagonizing their whole community. But go yeah. off. That's fine. They I'm sorry, my- it's the wig. I-, I can't get over the wig. I'm sorry. <laughs> is that a wig? It looks like a bad set of tracks to me. Maybe I'm just. Wig. <laughs> that shit is the makeup. I, I cannot do that makeup. That okay. foundation is a no. She looks like she's getting ready to be embalmed. <laughs> Yo, she do look casket ready, don't she? This bitch thought she was on um, what you want to call it on the Matrix. You know how they hair just be <laughs> stiff as fuck, like girl. <laughs> Damn! You stupid, you dumb. <laughs> like, come on, well, bitch. Oh, maybe, maybe she was trying to look like what she is and a fucking clown, clown makeup. That's probably what she was going for. You mammies yeah. are fucking clowns, man. Um, Ebony Phoenix. It it was something we were talking about backstage concerning something that happened on Thanksgiving. Please go over that. Speaking of clowns. Me? Yeah, let me go ahead and put your article up here. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I found it. Let me um, Okay. Pull the tab up. Somebody I sent it to your Gmail. Somebody said um, I date the Naker week. <laughs> I date the Naker. <laughs> okay. There you go, babe. This is the, this is the saddest thing. Um this pretty girl 
Asia Jenkins Minus. I put her name in the chat. Oh, the mother of a two-month-old was killed by this dude uh, on Thanksgiving Day. And the only way they found her body is because her mom called the police for a well check. He stabbed her 58 times. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that is evil. What the hell? But not all, though. He 58 times, and he was like, well, I didn't know if the baby was mine. And he, you know, and so, yeah, he he, he stabbed her in the stomach too, but he stabbed her 58 times around the neck area and chest, made sure she she was dead. You know I left how her much there and left the baby to crying. Somebody to stab them to death? Right. If, if you that pick is... your right arm up right now, ladies, and twisted it around and, and just in a circular motion 58 times, that right there gets tiring. Yep. He stabbed someone who had a child that was supposed to be his, his legacy, 58 times. Yeah, that's too personal. Yeah, that's very, you have to, stabbing is already personal, but because you have to be close to stab somebody, but 58 times, like you were genuinely upset. Like when I hear shit, like people get stabbed over 100 times, like you are very hateful to want to do that shit to somebody. Oh yeah, most definitely. That's you know what I wonder. I wonder what was the first red flag that she ignored because it, yes. these things do not end in fifty eight. It was it was some shit that happened probably before she even got pregnant that mm -hmm. he continued it to did. ignore. It so it's like did. So, right. So that's what I want to know. I wonder why black women mm -hmm. are participating in their own victimization and murder at this point. Is is like you're a masochist. That's how it always goes. These you. women, these women that this every time these women come up dead, it ain't the first time. You know, that's not the first time they done had their head busted. Probably been going on for years. So that's a demon, y'all. That's demonic. To stab I agree, Miss Elena. Hang them high. I agree. Um, I wish women. Would, I wish women would just leave as soon as they see that these men ain't no damn good. Thank and it's, you. Don't it's entertain them at all. Red flag. Nothing is a little red flag. I agree with you, Ebony Phoenix. I do. You know I do. Don't fuck with them at all. Right. But if you, but you, if you, this brave mammy ass warrior, can you do everyone a favor and stop trying to size up the flag? If the flag is red, it's red. I don't give a fuck if he's yelling only. He shouldn't be embarrassing you like that. If he got right. something to talk to you about, it should be behind closed doors and at a use your inside voice, nigga. Stop dealing <laughs> with them at all. The fuck? These dudes been assholes. These guys. These dudes been assholes from jump, but these women, you know, they think they can Thank fix you. it. Yeah. And we're Thank also you. encouraged to deal with shit like that. Like, like when he right. raised his voice at her the first time, they're supposed to be like, oh, well, you know, just stop doing whatever you're doing. Like, no, bitch, that is abusive. Right. That is physical abuse. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, DZ. I had a, I had an aunt that was going through domestic violence, and you know that she went to a preacher, and she told him everything that was going on with her. You know, he told her to treat him like a king, and she gonna get her reward in heaven. Oh, get the oh, fuck out of here! Oh, well, I'm surprised he didn't try to fuck her, cause you know how they do. That's true. Well, you know, I had an aunt going through domestic violence too, and they told my aunt that several times, and you know what happened? Last time he hit her was when she took a very big serrated butcher knife and filleted him. You know, that's the again. answer. That's the answer. That is the answer. Violence, men only respect loss of money and loss of life or violence. So you have to be you have to be excessively violent with somebody that is violent if you are going to interact with that person. I just don't have I don't know how black women sustain that, like how your blood pressure and your health. It's not sustaining that we 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 have the highest mortality rate out of all other races of women. So I don't know how black women are sustaining themselves under constant duress. I don't, the, I don't understand. The sad part is black women don't have support when they go through stuff like this. They have no type of safety nets. All these jack leg ass family members and, and damn preachers are telling them to stick around. Step away from your family and step away. I don't even know why y'all still in the church, but that's another conversation for another day. All you need, all you need is a, your Second Amendment rights and a healthy finger, a healthy trigger finger. You don't, well, you don't they, need to well, the support thing is, your family. It shouldn't, it shouldn't even get to the point. Any man who loves and respects you, you don't have to compete with another woman for his eyes, his money, 
his penis, his time, his resources. You don't have to, you should never have to compete with another woman for that. But you're talking about black estate, so that thought is not even applicable to what we're talking about. Like, that's that's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying, like, the reality is you got to shoot. You got to shoot. That's the reality. Like, they need to quit I'm fucking serious, with y'all. I'm sorry. in a situation this, this right now where I let people know. But, right, you got to shoot. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, unapologetic. It didn't have nothing to do with the conversation, but did y'all see that like Cheetos ad up there, the mac and cheese Cheetos? That's a nigga meal. Like I was thinking, about you niggas stupid. That <laughs> but somebody got that shit in their house right now. That's what that girl looked like. Uh, that tiger oh on the Cheetos God. bag with the stiff ass wig. Yeah, available you know at Walmart. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, that is that not a nigga thing? Like they would definitely buy that shit. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Ebony J, for the super chat. They always eating some um high carb as no nutritional value as shit. Hey, mammy, try that out. Try to give that nigga a, a, a nutritious meal. I don't know. I don't look. My suggestion is stop fucking with him. But if you're gonna fuck with him, get that nigga a carrot or something. Give some rock shit. Girl, girl, his kids. His kidneys will shut down from shock. Don't get their ass no goddamn no vegetables. <laughs> they, they they don't even know how to process a vitamin. Uh uh-uh, uh, they run on ramen noodles and forties. So y'all, look at this shit here. Black TikToker goes viral. Mm-hmm. He assaults white women, then calls them racist. Right. So we've covered everybody. We've Why did covered. I already know what that nigga look look like? <laughs> you can't make this shit up, bro. Like they, I just, I'm gonna just be quiet because, um, y'all sons ugly. No big facts. <laughs> y'all sons are ugly. <laughs> he ugly as fuck. Somebody that don't big. say. Oh, he probably fi- he fine. Bitch, you wear. Uh uh-uh, uh, that bitch the whole like queen a, um, with that red hair in his head. I always call him oh, these dudes. Yeah. Why that bitch look like a kneecap? He a pussy. You know I'm sorry. I just can't. Why is he touching? Why are you touching people? And then as soon as somebody shoot him in the face, everybody going to want to march and your mama going to be crying. Why are you touching people? And they, it's all white women. So you know they, they, they mad. They can, you know they mad. Because they think they can do what they want to. Y'all, he's melanated. I'm sorry. I would, I would not he's march melanated. for that. I would give it a banana. Mm-hmm. Y'all tripping. That man melanated. That Girl, automatically right. makes him a king, bitch. Ugly than the fuck. He needs a bunch of and bananas. I'm... Let it go. <laughs> and where are these people's brothers? Like, I'm white women usually have their crew with them. Where your, where your husband and your sons and your mm-hmm. daddies? Because they will come hunt. They, I don't understand. Let's see his little viral TikTok with his melanated self. <laughs> Hi. Hell no. Why are you touching me? What the hell? Because you smell so good. Okay. Uh, no, thank you. Can I maybe smell you? Ew. I see that you're doing some sort of weird psychology experiment, but if you put your hands on me again, I will call the fucking police. Get away from you me. You smell like a beautiful vanilla candle. Help! Right! I don't blame her. <laughs> Help! I don't touched. blame her. I don't blame her either. Oh my God. This, thank this you. This is gold, by the way. Keep going. Keep going. Say, say he's black. Say he's black. Um, don't you have security in this store? I went to get chicken nuggets, ma'am. You were next to the chicken nuggets, and I went like that on the side. I didn't even touch it. <laughs> y'all saw that, right? Ooh. Y'all saw that oh manipulative shit? Did y'all see that manipulative shit? This is the people y'all marching for. He I... went up and fucked with that woman, and then he basically accused her of assaulting him. This just... y'all son. Ooh, Lord, I almost said the F word. I'm sorry, Lord. I cannot, I cannot stand it. And, and see, this is why my name is Aim for the fucking Durag. Okay, so check this out. You notice how they both the same. Like she yes. is great and he like they're the same motherfuckers. They the same people. I don't feel bad for neither one of them. He should keep his hands to himself. Mm, black but do you see how they are the same? Well, that's why they're, they're attracted to each other. That's why they're attracted right. to each other. Yeah. I told really y'all last same. time we were live that black men and white women are sort of the same and black women and white men are sort of the same and you got proof mm-hmm. right here but let's take this shit from the top I can't with y'all sons though I don't give a fuck about what's going on outside but god damn it your sons is 
my problem because they're always attacking one of us. If you don't believe me, go to Black Femicide. If you don't believe me, just open up your device and click World News, bitch. Your sons are trash. Big time. Oh, that, oh. He just touched her out of nowhere. He wouldn't have did nothing like that. She exaggerating. Ass bitch. Hi, why are you touching me? Because you smell so good. Okay, uh, no thank you. Can I maybe smell you? I see what that you're doing fuck? some He's sort of weird psychology freak. experiment, but if you put your hands on me again, I will call the fucking police. Get away from you me. You smell like a beautiful vanilla candle. Help! Don't do that. <laughs> Hell, I'm being attacked. Listen to his laugh. Fucking oh evil. my god, this is this is gold. By the way, keep going. Keep going. Say say he's black. Say he's black. Um, don't you have security in this store? I went to get chicken nuggets, ma'am. You were next to the chicken nuggets, and I went like that on the side. I didn't even touch you. So he grabbed my body. What body? <laughs> I was just walking the park, and I saw. I saw your granddaughter. She's just so beautiful. Oh my oh, god! Man, Stop, bro. Like, oh my god! He Why needs to get arrested. Why? Him he needs to get arrested. He's like, I'm, like, I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. Why? It's, it's 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 okay because everybody walk around on goddamn eggshells since George Floyd died and everybody else died, and now this is what happens. The result is that now they can utilize that to do what the fuck they want to do to people without retribution. Wow. Where is a show me? you how stupid they are. Where is a, a me when you need one? Y'all, it wasn't long before he was going to go after a kid. Y'all know what these niggas like to do. This is them wrapped up in this one little stupid ass TikTok video. This is them. So, mammies, next time you want to march, you might want to do a little investigating before you get your stupid ass out here and make them bunions bigger. <laughs> so, not bunions, DZ. Hillary Clinton no, on something. I'm just saying. I'm and, and notice he's not doing this to anybody black or any any because I I cause I know like even Boom Quisha will beat the shit out of his ass in that freezer aisle. <laughs> I'll beat the shit out of him with a bag of nah. a bag of Tyson nuggets. I will beat bludgeon your ass. That's crazy. <laughs> I can't. My baby I say a, a bunch of bananas rocks. at him. I would have. A bunch of bananas right at his head. I'm with he you, divested doll. Free Derek. You understand what I'm saying? Seriously. Because it looks like him with them red dreads, the only accessory he was missing was a knee around this Listen. bitch. But DZ, Derek Chauvin only has two knees. We need more knees than that. Shit, we all gonna be on our knees in prayer if we have to do it like that. Man. Shit, we gonna have to volunteer a goddamn knee. As many necks that need touch. <laughs> Y'all next, they, they they not precious. This is what goes on behind the scenes before y'all get y'all ass out here talking about somebody was practicing racism. Hell, he did the chicken reference his damn self. Right. This is why I say they scare me. Like, they really do scare me because they, they have no sense of, like, I don't even know the word, but... They have no sense of propriety. Yeah, like, yeah. you just, you can't do shit like that. Like, that shit got under my skin. Like, ugh. Y'all, I would have had a, a serious breakdown. Me too. I was by myself, and me one of them came up and touched me like that. <laughs> it would have been. Um, Tell y'all would have started crying. Popping. Like, no. Yeah, right. Y'all, listen. Y'all better get. Y'all better keep y'all a bag full of goddamn rocks. Cry and be beating their ass. That shit is crazy. I. I, I, I'm telling y'all, this shit. I used to listen when I growing up. My sister carried two steak knives taped together. When we was in the hood. I will. Oh shit! This it makes me angry to see people think that they can violate you. I don't. That, it makes me really angry to see that this this is not okay. It's not okay. It's not fucking okay. And motherfuckers need to actually die, bitch. If you touch somebody unwarranted, we at the point where people's lives, bitch. You touch me, you gonna die. Period. And your motherfucking your motherfucking kids. You better hope you got social security or a policy. Cause your mama and all I'm gonna be crying over Dixie plate, baked chicken, and motherfucking green beans if you touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Not the green beans. Word up. The funeral funeral plate, you know, the weight yeah. plate. <laughs> Not the Dixie plate, no. <laughs> Yo, and a check, check soda. 
because last time somebody came in here um impersonating coriander so i don't know hey coriander if that's you send me a uh inbox and we'll do a google meet and go from there <laughs> that's what's gonna happen because there's a lot of people out here um imitating actual youtubers there's no way on earth somebody like coriander be running around here talking about black men are awesome and all that extra shit Somebody type that shit up under my name one day. If y'all ever oh, see that I shit. I was going to say, this is fake you talking about some protect black me. Bitch, where? <laughs> Look. Can't uh, be. Honey, they, there was a fake me in the ops camp talking about how awesome their platform was and oh, send wow. me the send me the link and I just want to explain myself type shit. If y'all see shit like that, that ain't me, honey. I figured That's it was. I put that shit on my um community tab. There's no way on earth. If there's two things you ain't gonna see, me, <laughs> that's number one, <laughs> and number two, me bigging up anything Blackistani, mammy ish, pick me ish type shit. I'm not a pick me. I'm a miss me with that bullshit. Because I, no. I figure it wouldn't be you. Mm -mm, I don't type in people comment section. They got me fucked up. But Coriander, if that's you, hit me in my um Gmail and we'll set up a meet or what have you. I'm gonna hop off days. It's good talking to y'all. Bye, and I'm gonna hop off too. This is my time, but uh, please come and uh, <clears throat> see me over in my YouTube corner, Ebony yes, Phoenix please. Live. Yeah, I was going to tell tell you tell them where they can find you. They can find me on YouTube. Okay, uh, it's yeah. Ebony Phoenix. Just type in my name, and I'm popping up right there. That's what's up. Okay. Subscribe. Love you, girl. Bye -bye. Talk to you tonight. I know you're going to be in the Discord, and Melanie is too. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Welcome to the panel, The Witching Hour. How are you, ma'am? The Witching Hour, are you still there? I guess she's not there. Let me go ahead and drop you back down then, baby. But yeah, you got to use your, your thinking cap wherever you go in some of these spaces. There are a lot of desperate ass dusties trying to make it seem as if we are uh, on the low want them. Nobody wants you, sir. Get to the reality of the fact that bitches are leaving. Divested women are leaving. Actually, divested women have left. I'm just recruiting. This is the recruitment office. Something you wouldn't know nothing about because you bitches don't have jobs. Girl. Right? This is the recruitment office. Welcome to the panel, L. How are you? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> What's going on, girl? Have you been here since the, the beginning? Because we've really been going the fuck in. No, I'm sorry. I'm late to the party. Well, the moral of the story is this, okay? From homeless Dusty all the way up to movie star Dusty and everything in between is trash. We showed examples of how that's the case. And mm -hmm. we've made it to the point where even TikTokers, right, out here mm -hmm. touching motherfuckers that they ain't supposed to be touching and then playing victim are trash. Throw mm -hmm. the whole community away. What you got? Uh, I agree with throwing the whole community away. I 100% agree. Um, you're not going to hear me saying um, anything against that um, because I just don't really see um, anything positive coming from the community. There's really, I mean, there's really just nothing to be proud of. I agree 100%. Oh, that's an awesome way to see if this is Coriander. Yeah, I'll drop the link. BZ Be Luna's, not Luna, oh shit. Which an hour <laughs> said, can you let her back up? Oh, she's back now? Yeah. Because she hopped on the mic and ain't say a motherfucking thing. Let me drop the uh, link for this account, and then we're going to see what's going on, if this is Coriander or not. Welcome back, Witching Hour. How are hey. you? you? Hey, girly. The way <laughs> no, 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 no. I was halfway to the bathroom. I swear to God. I was like, oh, shit, I'm on. I tried to hurry up and run back, and I ain't making it in time. <laughs> I'm glad we ain't hear no toilets flushing and shit. <laughs> and and <laughs> no, 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 no. The bathroom, the bathroom is halfway across my apartment. No, but no, 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 the, no, no, no. The name, the name is still Luna. The channel is the Witching Hour. So let's not. You ain't got to feel. You know, you ain't. You ain't got to use no I secret just, names or nothing like that. I was just trying to make sure it's this. You know. Oh yeah, Welcome no, I got the you. Panel, Corey, and sorry about that. I mean, it's, it's actually me, sweetheart. 
Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. How, listen, no, listen, you know good and listen. well that there's people out here in, you I know, know. imitating every damn body. They had the audacity to come into my comment section. And then when I told people to report the, the troll channel, the person actually responded and said, report it. What? So they're just getting- <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's so fucking desperate. It's ridiculous. Support black men. Listen, when I respect, when that fake account came in here with your name, I had already I saw your name right, and then I read the rest of the super chat. I'm like, wait, hold, hold on, hold on. And somebody said that's not her because she would never say nothing like that. Yeah, my subscribers sent me screenshots, and I Mm. told them I was like, just support them. And um, we call it. Re- report the ch- re- report it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, if it seems unclear characteristic of the person, you have to, you know, that's how people get their screenshots and start shit. Honestly, mm-hmm. yeah. they'll pay two dollars to say some stupid ass shit, and then look, I got screenshots of DZ saying this. No, you don't, bitch. Stop mm-hmm. lying. Only two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> get a goddamn job and get off of my bra strap, will you? Go, go trollindeed.com. <laughs> Girl, you ain't got no resume. I can't do it. But this is Coriander. I know a lot of y'all already know who she is because she's been around for a minute. And I appreciate you coming up. What you got to add on the topic, though? What's the, I mean, about okay. them going around harassing uh, white women? Yeah, and every goddamn body else and on the I think planet. it would be a perfect opportunity to Honey. dissect their psychology of victimhood mm-hmm. and how quickly they try to twist situations to try to antagonize other people and paint themselves as the victims of racism because that's exactly what he just did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. They try, they try to provoke a response. I've, I've had some white people do that to me where I'm inside of a store or something and they'll say something slick. Like, um... This man was coughing all over the dang produce section. I was like, why aren't you wearing a mask? And he was like, because I'm not black. So when I went off on him, <laughs> then, listen, when I, <laughs> when I went off on him, then he tried to play the angry black woman help me trope, right? So I know it's mm-hmm. black resort to the same shit that some of these, these slick people resort to, where they'll try to provoke, provoke um, a response yeah, out of you. Notice, notice. Notice he was the one that say, tell him I'm black. Tell him I'm black. He Because he wanted to get that on record that she said I was black at the time. No, she just didn't want you touching her ass, idiot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And you know and what's... The, uh, Godfrey, of all people, who had a dang meltdown in the middle of the street over a black woman on a billboard with a white dude, um, he tried to pull the same stunt with Vlad TV. He tried to twist his words in a way to try to catch him so that he can try to paint him as a mm-hmm. racist. Do you do you do you uh do you date uh you have black guy friends or you just date black women? But uh, something along the lines of liking He's, the women but not liking the men and trying to twist. Nobody the likes them. They're array. annoying. They're antagonistic. Like they're nuisances. They're like little gnats. Like oh, <laughs> fuck. Get it in your heads, dusty sons of bitches. It's exactly. a growing population of people that see for see you for what you are. And the problem is this. Somebody got some background noise. You're hacking yourself. That video we just watched was a hack of themselves. You, you're letting people know that you're a nuisance, and then you're going to blame it on the media at this point. I'm, I'm sorry, but not fucking sorry. Um, get used to the new normal. Just like pre-pandemonium, because you can't say the other word on this bitch. Pre-pandemonium is the new normal now. Um, people not liking you is the new normal. Where is that sound coming from? Okay. Nope. I'm muted. Okay. No, but but uh, the field that I work in, you know, you have a lot of niggas who call up and they don't have anything together. They don't have, you know, their Medicare, the, excuse me, Medicare, Medicare together. They don't have any finances together. They don't have any savings together. And they're calling up trying to get these benefits that they're not entitled to. And it's just like, fam, you don't even have a 401k. What benefits were you trying to were you trying to get? Were you trying to achieve? Were you trying to whatever? I had one dude called in who was 90. This man said 
he worked in the army and didn't save nothing. He didn't save nothing from when he was in the army. He didn't even save anything from when he was working out on the streets. And it was like he was trying to get like all these extra benefits that he felt like he was entitled to. And I'm just like, what do you want me to do for you? You, you don't have anything. You don't even have a record of what you did over the past 90 years but you're calling for what <laughs> like what the fuck do you want me to do for you fam <laughs> like and, he, and then he's trying to like play the black card and he's like you know whatever i can hook me up sis hook me up the, the nah, nigga, I ain't nigga. Doing that shit. like sir i don't know you like you are nigga, i don't know i report you stop it i'm not your fucking sister. sis i'm not your sister Facts. like don't call me that Facts. Sir, I'm on a recorded line. I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, fuck you want me to do for you, bruh. Welcome to the panel, Chim Chim. Hello, DZ. Hello. How Hi. are you? Hi, ladies. <laughs> hey. You got something to add? Because I saw you, you sitting me? back I, there. I, I... Yeah, I can hear you. I saw <laughs> you sitting in the back with your fingers <laughs> intertwined. What you got, baby? Oh. <laughs> um. Oh, there's so much on my mind regarding this. Um, the 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 lady. Okay, so the girl, the crimson chin that was talking about cheating, she remind me of one of the characters off of House of Wax, especially like the wig. Mm. Um, I don't understand. Like, how do you make a? Most of these women get crazy when they sleep with dudes anyway, and they already feel special. So, by proxy, him cheating is making them feel special anyway because they're all dumb hoes so i don't know what she was coming up with that if that made sense well nothing this, she said made sense but that definitely did make sense like oh you can sleep with her, but don't make her feel special like what the hell this plays to their argument that um black women are all choosing from the same group of men when she sat up there and said that you know he can cheat and it plays to Manosphere talking points. You guys are all choosing the same dude. Actually, we're not. We're not. Most it's black men have the, same. the fuck? That's a fact. I thought I was getting ready to cut somebody off. That was my bad. But yeah, I'm I'm sick of these talking points. Oh, no, 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 I'm... no. Go ahead, Chim Chim. Am I lagging? Yes. <laughs> Am I you're lagging? lagging? Yeah, you're lagging big time. Go out oh, and come okay. back in. Uh, you um okay, gotcha, gotcha. Not Matt Turner. God, Matt Turner. What the fuck? <laughs> Matt Turner. Um, my white man proposed to me after a month of dating. So you can take that somewhere else. Matt Turner. Matt Turner, the uh link is in the chat. If you want to get your ass handed to you, let me make sure the link is in the chat because here's the deal. I, I can't. You got the right ones Your today. Easy, it's a thousand people watching. They get, you got a mad tonight, girl. <laughs> he got the, they got the right wrong one. I, I, I like to let the trolls up so that they can get dragged. There's your fucking link. And if you don't I'm click it, here. I'm going to have them block you. So you really don't have a choice at this point. Take over for a second. I need to answer a text, Coriander. Matt Turner was trash. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> Matt Turner. Drill. Are you sucking dick on the plantation, too? The fuck? Drill. No, but in regards to the whole you're all choosing the same black man um, rhetoric, so I had somebody pull that, you know, pull that line with me, and I was like, so you're telling me and, and you're actually admitting this but indirectly that the only way for you not to get left a single mother is for you to leave black men alone entirely because when you do have children, the likelihood of these women, regardless of race, ending up a single mother is like well over 80%. That's what you're Girl. telling me. Girl, let's take it right? a step further. Let's take it a step further. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if they're saying we're all choosing the same nigga, that means you guys are literally all the same. The same. So we're all choosing the same nigga worldwide, regardless of the state, regardless of what we grew up in. Mm -hmm. All of you are exactly the same. the same. Period. So therefore, divest. Hashtag divest. <laughs> and then riddle me this, Tyrone. Okay, so that's your excuse with black women. But what about this army of bastard biracial children that are being littered all over the white, Asian, and mm. Hispanic community? So if you're claiming that these women are so-called better than black women, I mean, uh, you know, go off. Uh, but why aren't they getting better treatment? Is, is the question. Are they also choosing the same black men? So regardless of the race of the woman, none of these women regardless of race know how to choose the right black men because regardless of race, all of these women end up inside of the same predicament? Exactly. 
And I have he, something to he say. He don't care about um, He bussy to me. For right. trolls, the trolls in the chat who are pretending, I think we need to come up with a system to weed them out. For trolls in the chat who are pretending to be other YouTubers, if anybody is pretending to be me, tell them to send $60 in the chat, which I can't <laughs> yes. do. They both like Girl, me. Them tell them to That's how you contribute. <laughs> They but broke. beneficial to you anyway. Send sixty dollars, or we're gonna drop the link and you come up here. Now, if they actually do have the sixty dollars, that's still beneficial to the divested community or the YouTuber who's there because they just got sixty dollars from a troll. So, they this is broke. Come on, you ain't got no fucking money. <laughs> that's food stamp money. <laughs> For real, <laughs> 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 drop sixty dollars or come up on this panel if you're the hey, real coriander. So they check you- this up. Hold up one second. Ace, right? <laughs> Nat Turner was dusty. As fuck. Period. And it just is what it is. Um, If you can count the rebellions of all those years of so-called slavery on one hand, um, I'm not fixing it. I'm not taking my hat off to bullshit like that. Mm-mm, not doing it. Anyway, the Dusty Slayer, are you actually dusty? No, I am not. Wait, am I on? <laughs> yeah, you're on <laughs> now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I am not, but I got some shit to say. Okay. What's so, up, babe? First, let me just say this. I work with a Dusty, right? He's supposed to be, I don't even want to call him educated lame because he ain't even got his degree. He just went to school and racked up debt. So my thing is this. We work in housing, right? Tell me why he's getting evicted from Wait, hold our on. company. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Legit getting evicted from the company we work for. How do you get evicted from the company? Do they have housing there? <sighs> yes. It's a, I, I work with a large company. So, like, we got properties all over the place, all over the nation. And, you know, we can live on property and get a discount, right? He, you know, was being a dusty and living beyond his means and spent too much money. And now he, like, can't pay it. But, you know, our company's no nonsense. We're about our bottom line, including the employees. So, you know, I guess he's been coddled his whole life. So he, you know, giving sob story at the sob story at the sob story. And I'm just like... They don't care. Like a damsel. <laughs> they don't care. He says so many like victim stories. Like I literally have to hear it every day. And I try so hard, so hard not to go in on him. But it's just like, because I try to keep it like professional <clears throat> workplace setting. But mm-hmm. get this. He's also a DL Dusty. Okay. So he's Ew. Dusty. Most of them motherfuckers are DL. They got you some right. level of desire for, you know, other Dusties. It's just that it is what it is. Not surprised. Mm-hmm. Marie, here's the thing. Oh. Marie went back to, <laughs> and now she's a single mother. Yes, I couldn't agree with you more. Nat Turner was a bussy popping failure. Y'all not gonna hide behind the same nigga. Millions of you have come and gone, been born and died, and y'all keep trying to hide behind one nigga. That's something else. That, that ought to tell you right there. That motherfuckers is dusty. And I mean hashtag all. Anyway, keep going. Sorry. <laughs> no, you can't. I'm so happy I'm here. And also, too, let me just say, and I know you probably get tired of hearing this, but thank you so much because I did not know that I was a fence sitter or swirler or whatever it is. I think it was Trinity. Like the first time I heard it on your panel and she was like, I hate when people keep on saying that swirlers and divestors are the same thing. They're not. Okay. And <laughs> It needs to be a clear distinction. And I didn't even know that because, you know, I'm getting the best man for the job. You know, that's what I was doing until I realized they all hashtag all are dusty <laughs> as fuck. They all are. of them. They are. And all let me prove them. it to you real quick. It's because just like Blackistan says, well, if the good cop knows about the bad cop and doesn't do anything, then he's also a bad cop. Okay, bitch, let's, let, let's change the players. When a good BM knows about bad BMs and doesn't do anything, he's a bad BM. Pull up, bitch. Yeah. Mm. Pull up. Period. So. See, that's where the smoke in their heads just like, they 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 lose it. They're like, no, that's not true. Like, They're, not gonna the that. They're not going to admit that. They're not going to admit that. 
Mm. Yeah, it takes away the fantasy. DZ Naker yeah. Nat still typing. So I think we should block him. <laughs> Just block him. He's not going to come up. He ain't going to come up here. Nat, D- uh, they, they get ready to block you. I, I told you if they if you didn't bring your ass up here, you was Some... going to get blocked. So I'm putting it in the chat again. Y'all go ahead and block him so he can't type in the chat. He's going to have to click this motherfucking link. Yes. Now here's the gag. This might be a bitch. That's okay. what I was gonna say because you yeah, know, it might be you know women. Women, man, man. women because niggas like to talk. Yes, I was just gonna say that because they send um sometimes they'll send uh a, a snow bunny or they'll send a mammy up to mm-hmm. troll your to troll your live stream. Them some little I want soldiers. to beat the fuck out of them mammies. I'm sorry, I can't I stand them. Like them I just dragged them. them. Just just drag them. Like dragged. <laughs> yeah, I can't get my face scratched. Up <laughs> they come up, make a fool out right. of themselves, and get dragged. Mammies, I'm going to aim at your fucking uh, bonnet. Stop playing with me. Girl, I'm too cute to fight. <laughs> a, a woman. Pretty girls do don't fight. We sue. Um, true, true. But first, I'm going to punch the fuck out of her goddamn bonnet. And the nigga do rag. Stop playing. I do not oh, like yeah, this. I can't. Not with, not with them coffin nails. I, you're not finna scratch my face. <laughs> With them coffee nails, I don't want none of your nail glue on me. I don't want none of that hair glue on me. I'm not. I don't want you leaving your eyelash pack on my shoulder. And and I, no, they use that damn hair. And the edge control, the, the the edge control when it dry up. Right, the girl. <laughs> ashy ass ankles. Them bitches' ankles always ashy. What the hell, man? Come on, y'all, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Like, girl, I'm going to expose you. I'm going to expose you all the way. Now, all I have to do to ruin your whole day is take that bonnet off your head. Your whole fucking day going to be ruined. <laughs> because you out here trying to impress Dusties. And once they see the hair that they create up under that bonnet, they're going to hate you. So don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this oh, white yeah. dude that I talked to, he was like, hey, so I want to ask you a question. I don't want it to sound like I'm being racist. I was like, it's cool. Just ask me. He was like, so I work on a college campus and I always see black girls wearing these little, he called, you know, white people call them shower caps. He was like, I keep seeing all these black girls with shower caps on. And I'm just wondering, is that like a new thing? And I was just no. like, no. Did he Did he really no. call them shower caps? Oh my God. Like, this is how they, they look, like. look and they don't even realize this is how they look. You don't go out in public like that. I was I, just like, yo. Well, he you know they called have- it a jerry curl cap. I mean, oh my God. God. <laughs> That oh, is he really says shower, yeah. Yo, he oh, really God. says shower. Oh, no. I never, <laughs> no, I never even person, thought like, about it though. That's yeah, the it part. does. It looks just like a shower cap. Like shower when white people wear something that looks like that, it looks like a shower cap to them because yeah. oh, yeah. they only put those on in the shower. So this is how we. This is how black women look out here. Yeah, he really like, didn't know that. Like, come on, listen. Like, there's no excuse, y'all, because they have headband wigs. Listen, it's so easy. Um, it has the headband, so it looks like you're wearing a bandana over your wig. You just put that thing on, and it works. I have a headband wig. I've been yeah. wearing it. Yeah. It's so easy. Like, you don't have to wear that out in public. That is so tacky. And, yeah, it just dawned on me. The only time they put on something similar is when they're in the shower. So it does, like, a bunch of shower caps in public to them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He so check it out, y'all. He check it out. He did not know. I just told y'all. Mammy, if I remove your shower cap, we're going to call it now, it's going to ruin your day. You see your Dusty in the chat? He doesn't like nappy hair. So you have to make sure we don't get into any street fights because I'm going to remove your shower cap and he's going to see that nappy hair. Now, you don't want your Dusty to be turned off by you. So don't don't fight with divested women in public. It's it's mm-hmm. it's gonna be a bad day for you, sis. Mm-hmm. Ladies, listen, it's so simple. Um, and then you don't even have to do anything to your no gluing, no hair blow drying. Buy the headband wig and literally straight out the box. You can pull your hair back into a low bun or ponytail, or sometimes I part my hair down the middle, right? And that whole front section of your hair is your leave out um in the ponytail. And then you just put the headband wig on. And it comes, sometimes it comes with headbands. You can add your own headbands over the black headband that it already comes with. And it, it looks like you put so much work into your hair and it doesn't. Plus, people think it's real because the front part of the hair is yours. 
Mm-hmm. Girl, they it's lazy. So they're not about to do all that. That's why they're not doing their hair because they're lazy. And that's why they wear shower caps. Yeah, and remember, uh, Tyrone, <laughs> Tyrone's be telling them um, that they love their women uh, natural mm-hmm. with no makeup. Girl. Telling them that they fuck niggas, but the Ty- women, the Tyrone women want his woman to look like a slave. Let's let's be real. <laughs> these these no, niggas no. will dead ass be online <laughs> talking about I like my woman with no makeup with a bonnet on. Yeah, she they confident. Like they they tell me gay without telling me let me gay. let me tell you what it is um which an hour they want you what they think is ugly that's what they want you to look like so other men doesn't don't want you yep. nappy hair can be it can be amazing if okay. styled correctly okay but uh dusty's they don't like nappy hair they don't like 4c for they don't like none of that shit so he's going to tell you to put it on because he perceives that other men are just as stupid as he is. So he gonna send you out there what he think is ugly. Them motherfuckers don't want no natural Well, hair. you guys know it actually backfires on them because a lot of white guys, including my own, they find uh, the natural curly hair to be exotic. Yep. Um, they yep. do. They find it very attractive. And I, I actually realized it was a fetish when this white dude damn near came in his pants when I let him touch my hair. <laughs> Jesus. He's like, oh, thank you for letting me do this. But that is a fact, though. Like, why is that? He, he loves my hair. And it's natural and nappy. I cringe so much when y'all say Zaddy. I really do. <laughs> and um, what you said. I say Zaddy uh, to trigger to do uh, the nakers. Mm-hmm. What you said, witching hour last time, when you said something about your give up on life pants, like, if you're dressed like that and, like, your hair is natural, like, you get more compliments from other dudes from than black men anyway because they think oh well only Becky can do that look and you know black women shouldn't do that look they should be this and do that and it's like no mm-hmm. like like you said one time DZ in a video you said t- I think I think you said it. I'm not quite sure it was like a video a while back you said tell me what you like so I could be the opposite of that because right. I don't want your attention mm-hmm. at all like yo no it, it, the, it's the audacity for me it's like this Nigga, don't nobody care what you prefer. You don't have no <laughs> money, bitch. Yes, right? you have no power. <laughs> you didn't build is. nothing. I mean, why do people give a fuck what your preferences are? Mm-hmm. You don't get to say what your preferences are. You get to say, can you please uh, have pity on me because you are the lowest performing man Jeez. in the fucking universe, not just this planet. I'm sure there's some Martians out doing your stupid ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't, y'all. DZ, I can't stand you. <laughs> Not Martians. <laughs> oh, that is serious. If there's some Martians, I know they out doing these goddamn niggas on this planet. Right. You know, that's probably why they won't land. It's like, oh, fuck that. We got a chance to do that. <laughs> nah, right. I ain't going to that fucking planet. These motherfuckers is trash. Right. And I got my locks and then niggas. I, I was like, niggas don't like natural hair. This nigga gonna say... Ooh, you look really nice today. Boy, fuck you. Like, yeah, I know y'all don't, yes. don't like natural hair. Stop talking to me. Even the nicest compliment. It's like, shut up. Be quiet before I throw a Molotov cocktail at you. Seriously. I <laughs> want a Molotov. You <laughs> <laughs> like, I, shut up. Your voice is like, oh, it's it's like fucking a cat with scissors. And that, that's that's a terrible sight. I see. can't. No, funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to let that out. No uh, one's saying anything bad about wigs. It's just mm-hmm. there's so much shit you can do to instead of going out of your house with a fucking bond. Like, right. Like, shower caps. Sorry, shower caps. Yes, <laughs> honey. Of that's salvation. The reality. In pajamas. Like, shower caps. Fuck. And that's why I be stressing them give up on life pants because I feel like, you know, I be I be going out, you know, and it's not even like you trying to get attention. It's just be like you got a lot of shit to do and you running errands and you not necessarily thinking about how you look. And, you know, I be out here, girl, like ripped jeans, you know, a band T-shirt on. I cut my locks off so the hair is short and I be out here just just running errands. And then I be having guys talk to me like. Hey, so uh, you want to go out sometime? And I'm sitting over here like, nigga, really? <laughs> By the way, I use nigga interchangeably. I'm not talking about nigga niggas. I'm talking about white boys. But yeah. I do the same thing too. <laughs> I call them what they are, and then everybody else, they they a nigga. Mm-hmm. So I get what you mean. <laughs> Facts. I, I call everybody nigga. But but y'all, I heard uh, words on 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 the streets 
right, is that the hotel mammies are getting perms now. Oops, I'm sorry. Yeah, what the fuck? Right now, I really? guess, yeah. yeah, I heard, uh, <laughs> you know, they're getting perms now. I guess uh, Tyrone is letting them know what it is. You know, the black man is God is fucking Becky, so I guess I don't know. He well, said bitch straight in that shit. <laughs> you listening to them, man. It's, it's like, why do y'all keep trying to go for this goalpost? It doesn't exist for you. They keep giving you goals, but every time you hit them, it's another story. The fact of the matter is they don't want your stupid ass. When are y'all going to figure that out? That they hate your fucking guts. Right. I'm almost to the point where I hate your guts for not understanding that motherfuckers hate your guts. This right. is a chain reaction around this bitch. Mm-hmm. Girl, get a goddamn clue. Get your ass away from Blackistan and ain't nobody said run to no motherfucking white boy. Just get your ass away from niggas. Get right. that part. Period. Not all black men. My, really my son is really good. My son, fuck your son, huh? My brother. <laughs> my cousin's <laughs> third baby <laughs> mama's <laughs> baby daddy. My son. He, my he son. donated the chair. That little nigga so uh, good, right? ashy hoe. Nobody care. Fuck somebody him. said nigga smell good <laughs> and I was like, you <laughs> can't have been around a nigga for real because they do not smell good. <laughs> Their nose don't work. <laughs> I call them bitches uh, fire Girl. starters, bitch. That ankles dry as fuck. Kneecaps ashy as fuck. Girl, fuck your son. Nobody care. They the smell fuck? like 3 a.m. pussy. <laughs> Stop. Right. If, if I don't get upset. At my uh, desk at work and in my purse. So, uh, no. Always moisturize. Like, I don't know how they do it. I this is a new normal, y'all. It's very, very normal. People are going to hate your sons. If you sensitive about that shit, stop having them. Hey, there's a solution with our no solution trauma bonding asses over here. Stop <laughs> having them, okay? And get your ass away from Blackistan. Like I said, throw the whole fucking community away. No, um, dead ass. Fuck your son. Because it was it was it was my ex mom who kept talking about her how good her fucking son was, and that motherfucker tried to kill me. Fuck literally, your sons. They suck. literally. Oh yeah. my god. Fuck your sons. My son. Literally. There's a my video on YouTube of this like black it. woman who sat there and her son murdered murdered somebody and she was in the dang on courtroom talking about some. I know my son's a good boy and he didn't do I that. I know who I know what video you're talking about. She was <laughs> pathetic. And what made it so bad was the judge in that case was also dusty and he told her to sit her motherfucking ass down somewhere. Don't nobody want to hear about how awesome your son is. He told her uh, he's convicted. This is not a trial. You're giving an impact statement. Say it and sit down. Your son did it. Now shut the fuck up. Period. And, and that was she just was like, <laughs> that was an elder. It was an elderly black man who's sitting there listening to this elderly mammy. My son didn't do nothing wrong. My Ooh, son. It's just niggas hate cats. niggas. They hate each other. They hate everybody. They hate kids. <laughs> they hate women. They hate each other. They just need to just go away. Yeah, I mean, your I son should have been target practice for the police. Yes, I couldn't hear y'all because y'all was talking at the same time. What happened now? My bad. I said your son should have been target practice for the police. I <laughs> said I can understand how devastating <laughs> it is. As, as a mother, I can not me, but I can understand like as them being mothers how devastating it is to think like oh this right here is like an elderly church going black woman and the thing is if you don't raise your son or there's nobody in the household to be a good male role model for your son um then the the community is going to raise them television youtube negative manosphere i'm of the opinion honestly to model themselves after other black men that's going to be their example for what they think a man is supposed to be exactly they're going to look at other black men who are completely degenerate which is why i said my son when I have a son, a biracial son, can they sit there talking about some? Oh, your son's gonna be black. No, no, no. I'm of the opinion. Like uh, okay, the I'm, devil I'm, I'm is not, a whole I'm ass liar. Uh, listen, <laughs> I'm of the opinion, honestly, that they can't, no matter how they are raised, whether they were in a wholesome household, mm-hmm. whether they had two parents or one. Whatever, whether they grew up around violence, well-meaning, it it, it doesn't matter the the, the environment. They can't be good people. The evidence is in the pudding. How many times have y'all sat down and watched true crime and they come from various different backgrounds? Mm -hmm. They come from rich backgrounds, poor backgrounds, um, domestic violence backgrounds, and they all turn out the same for the most part. 
What do y'all think about what I just said right there? Because it's not an issue of an individual. It's an issue of rotten culture. And I keep telling the whole, people this. Yeah, the whole culture is trash. Real no, talk. I, think it's, it's, I it agree is, with that. It is, it is I, pathology. I, it's, a, it's a psychological pathology that has nothing to do with how much money you make, what part, what continent or country you're in. It is a it's pathology. And pathology yeah. transcends all of this. I agree with that to a point, but I do believe that when the dad is black, regardless of who the mother is, that motherfucker is probably going to turn out dusty. I do believe that if there's another man in his life, that as long as the mother's not a mammy and she's trying to make her non-black man somehow be a black man, mm. you know, an adjacent black man, then, then you, got you know, they got you a chance. A, you, you have a son? Mm-mm. You oh, know how okay. um, in animals, some behavioral patterns are learned? Yeah, and then they're passed down. Um, people are wondering how do animals all know how to do the same things, act a certain way, have the same mannerisms without language, and a lot of that is inherent. I remember um, my fiance was watching a white comedian talking about cats, and he said, "You know, you can't feed cats goddamn broccoli." He was talking about vegan cats. <laughs> you can't feed a cat goddamn broccoli because it's hardwired in their DNA to be carnivores. And he said his house cat never been outside a day in his life right literally was looking out the window saw a squirrel and became homicidal he was like that is some homicidal ass dna you've never seen a squirrel day in your life the first time you see one you know you want to kill it i think it's in black men's dna something's wrong with the y chromosome of our race i mean it's sad to say i but agree i believe that it's inherent i've been saying i agree, agree too i black, agree as well and it is a male there is something wrong. I, I say all the time, being a black man should be a mental illness because all of them are fucked up. Mm -hmm. Now, some do deviate, um, but I think... The, even they fucked up. Even some re yeah, on some level, it must be a genetic component, like how the cat that's never seen a squirrel automatically wants to kill the damn squirrel. You know, it's been eating kebabs this whole life. What do you know about hunting squirrels, right? And then a lot of that is also a cultural aspect. I think it's like a combination of the two. Now, of course, you have uh, those who deviate from the norm, mm -hmm. those who deviate from the rule, but the rule still stands. Even they're yeah. fucked up because they. Yeah, fucked I, up. I agree. I agree with um unapologetic. There, I just you know, especially with the way they are fucking black women up. Mm -hmm. I, I think now y'all watch this now. It's part of what Coriander said, I, I don't agree with, but there's no need to 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 fight. I'm gonna teach you mammies how to do this when you don't agree with certain parts of it. You can agree to disagree. Me personally, I think they're all fucked up. Mm -hmm. Even with the deviation factor, they're fucked up. If they're deviating, right? They're fighting their nature. Also, when you tell them about the deviation, people hear unicorn. Yep. They hear they hear mm -hmm. unicorn and then they get their ass out here and get their asses handed to them. I don't want anybody that's ever heard the sound of my voice think that I think that there's some sort of unicorn out there. I just don't believe in unicorns, deviations, or none of that. I think them motherfuckers are trash. Throw the whole nigga away. Yep. Sound clip! Welcome back. Um, Aim for the do-rag. I don't know what happened to you, honey. Mm -hmm. I, I think I think uh, um, a Dusty hacked this shit, so my bad. Well, StreamYard is Dusty anyway, so... <laughs> It is Zoom dusty as fuck too. I tried to use Zoom, y'all, and the goddamn shit just looked like it started twerking. I'm like, what the hell is this? Nah, I ain't gonna use this shit either. Damn, I'm gonna just stick stick with the the dusty I know called Streamyards. And even if they do deviate, it's because they know, quote unquote, that they're the ones that every black woman want. Those are the black men that they want. They think they have a past to be even more degenerate. Like that veterinarian who was fucking the animals, yes. or that pastor that well, was touching. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The what the hell? Yeah, so he who, was. Who was doing animals? Yeah, it was, was a black dude. Animals. He was, yeah. was a black dude from Florida. <laughs> this happened in Florida. He's sitting up dicking down animals with the shit log. Yo. And, that, <laughs> and was videotaping. Even if they do deviate, what? They, I think the, the ones that deviate are worse than the ones that are just everyday <laughs> black men because. They 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 know that black women put them on the pedestal and nobody is gonna like you know question them. That's why they think they can get away with shit. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting up here trying to, pull up, trying to pull up the article now. Let me oh yeah, let me go ahead and get him up. Here. Can you guys please send this up to me? You know, I feel like I want to be like the 
the female Tommy Sotomayor, but like <laughs> yeah, against do. black please against do. black men because I'm gonna drag the hell out of them. Like, listen, oh, I can't watch it. Listen, listen they even when I, fuck him, I think it was in middle school or high school that started my whole. Because at first, at first it wasn't. I just didn't like ghetto dudes, so that that's why I didn't date them. Right? I was like, oh, I'll give a black guy a shot if he's not ghetto, but all of them were ghetto. Right, all of them had like mannerisms and behavioral patterns that I found distasteful, except for the white guys. Right, but then after discovering Tommy Sotomayor, I was like, yeah, no, they're off the table completely. Like, I'm not even gonna give it a consideration. That bitch, I'm so proud. Here he is, that that deviated dude, the, the the smart one, the one he tried to fight the nature. Look at him. But, you know, black people don't sit there and let dogs lick them in the goddamn mouth. <laughs> <laughs> look like uh sugar mama from the uh proud family what the fuck is this come on no and let none of this make you forget there was a motherfucker who posted on facebook it was a black dude i guess who was a vet this nigga was over there touching dolphins inappropriately uh, these niggas is weird God. no that's not an exaggeration he was touching dolphins inappropriately talking about they have better looking peas than <gasps> than than women and he was talking about he'll eat it and everything Ooh, disgusting fucking nasty Y'all, he said the dolphin had a pussy dolphin? think about that he said the <laughs> dolphin has a pussy i i i don't know where else to go with this these motherfuckers are hot garbage so dizzy we got nigerians touching feet we got dog dog uh niggas fucking dogs dolphin. and then we got other niggas eating dolphin pussy no no no, no. <laughs> and don't forget you had a 19 year old black man who was over aring horses on a stable? This is just mm-hmm. several months that, back. I yep. remember that. These niggas are degenerate. Yep. Fucking yep. nasty, man. Throw the whole fucking community away. I'm sorry, but not really. I mean, yeah. come on. What are you missing out on? You <laughs> not only are you getting embarrassed, but you don't even get any resources for the shit, man. These Remember ladies. how they used to say that that was white people stuff, like oh, bestiality and foot you. fetishes. Like y'all, yep. like it is, it is, it is very odd how they are the exact same people with the exact same things that they claim that they're being discriminated against. That shit is crazy. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. The the white man made them do that because before the white man, none mm-hmm. of that ever existed in our community, yep. guys. So because the white so, man made them gay too. So, so hold on. So, so what you're saying is that you're emulating the person that you hate the most because why yes. aren't black why yep. aren't black women getting caught doing these things? Thank you. Exactly. Thank you. You know, but then I guess we want to be like white women because I mean we wear wigs. So I guess that's one of the things that they say about us too. So we never we always talk about how we're trying to be like white women, but you're out here fucking animals and playing with feet. Mawa, like, what was your uh your opinion? Click the link because I want I I, I want to hear what the opinion was. To be I think honest, the studio is full, Dizzy. Hold on. Oh, uh, she said um coriander fell off the goddamn pants. See, stream yards be on some bullshit. Dusty. Sasha, your um device is not connected. So let me get this part out of here. And now all of a sudden it's not full. Mawa, if you down there, click the link or put your opinion up there or what have you, because I'm interested. <laughs> she, my world said my welfare made them do it. Girl, they ain't <laughs> responsible for shit. They ain't <laughs> responsible for shit. The the I guess the dolphin was wearing a skirt that was too high. Or <laughs> you know what, DC? I'm or the dolphin was drunk and was acting in a little hoish, you know. <laughs> or the dolphin could have been raised by a single dolphin. Not a single dolphin. <laughs> Not a single dolphin. <laughs> mm-hmm. to be and we dolphin. talk about uh Vivica A. Fox, I aka I lick 50 cent booty. Mm. Oh my god. That she bitch is like a shit log. Oh, is, is, you know, endorsing brother pedalite. Mm. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? What do you yes. mean she's endorsing uh polite? Allegedly, yep. she's trying to put him or she did put him in one of her movies. Doing what? Touching kids? Girl. Oh. 
I never liked her anyway, Me, honestly. Yeah, I didn't like Let's her. just keep that he, real. He look like he on dialysis any goddamn way. I don't understand. <laughs> the fuck? Why do you want to align yourself with somebody? Why? What are black yeah, women doing? That's Did y'all hear what B. Simone said? Did y'all see how they drug her ass all across social media? Uh, we we <laughs> drug her last week. Girl. Oh, okay, I was like, what the fuck is going on out here? <laughs> Vivica Fox Jesus. is the ultimate... She's the the personification of a desperate black chick. Let's just keep that real. Her she, fucking face look like play doh and shit now. Like she, <laughs> she does anything for the attention and validation of these dusty ass niggas, up to and including putting her surgical nose up niggas' asses. Come on, girl. What the deuce? Welcome back, Coriander. Hey, I fell off when girl. I got a text message. Try to answer it. I want to know why old girl got. Uh, put in time out. Who's she talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, they I'm, said that she put them in, she got put in time out for sharing her opinion about somebody up here, but I don't, I didn't see sharing it. Sharing her way. opinion? Yeah. Was yeah, it I a negative opinion? I don't see any opinion, honestly. I, I um put the link in there. Okay, so I'm I'll throw the link back in there. So I, she I'm can... all for it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, put the link in there because, um, that's how you get shit done, honestly. Talking about these, you know, opinions or whatever, because you can't fight facts. If your if your opinion goes against facts, mm. then there's an issue. And I always let trolls up. You Wait, know, let, let them make a fool out of themselves. Don't. <laughs> now that y'all talking about Vivica, um, whatever her name is, y'all remember Lazy Town? That show. Mm, yeah. Remember Spartacus? I remember the the memes of it. You remember the uh, the villain? Yeah, that's her bitch. That's that bitch twin. Oh, I think the panel is full. She probably can't get on here. Um, hold on a second. Y'all keep um, doing your which, thing. I'm I'm trying to work it out. Right here, go ahead. I see a sigil on the screen. Is that the witching hour? Mm, yeah, that's no, me. Yeah, she's up here. I, I think we have the same religion. <laughs> Oh, what is yours? <laughs> um, I let's speak in code here. I want to say this. Um, which of the seventy-two entities is your patron? Oh no, 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 no! I'm purely for knowledge, honey. Okay. So I consider okay. myself Luciferian at best, but uh, I don't have a I don't have a demon that I'm working with yet. Okay, demonolatry for me. Y'all off the chain. I'm into <laughs> I'm into divested zealotry and divested zealotry. Okay, we worship ourselves. We pop our collars and we think we the shit. The demon that we working with is self confidence and non niggotry. <laughs> divested right. from Blackistan, getting away from them as far as you can. I don't care if they mm -hmm. Catholic or whatever. Get your ass away from the ass. Mm. You know, I I realized I think what left me, I think me leaving Christianity was in complete rebellion to my mother in the church because I saw the hypocrisy. Um and I had a very traumatic experience dealing with Christians, which my mother was the type of Christian who was like evil behind closed doors, but like the perfect Christian lady behind um, you know, in front of other people. And so I don't mean to like offend people, but I'm like, my my perception from with, within my my household, uh, seeing that was, I understand that, that you know there's supposed to be a representation of their God, but what I was seeing from a lot of Black people in the community was allowing pedophilia to go rampant and unchecked, and telling people to forgive their abusers, um, people like my mother who would be one way uh, behind closed doors, but then the perfect Christian um, out in public. And I said, well, if this is, if you're supposed to represent your God, if I'm supposed to see him through you, and this is how you are, I don't think I want to meet the guy. You know? The fact that God, the fact that, the fact that we're still referring to God as a man is, is a fucking problem because yeah. God is an entity, creator is an entity, and if, if, and if, and if God did have a sex, it would, it would match with what the oldest fucking being on the planet is, which is an African woman. So, yeah, exactly. You know, but anyway, but, but in the Christian sense, it's, it's a it's supposed to be a dude. So I'm not so, I'm to it that way. You know, 
So the Christians out here fucking dolphins and dogs and hitting feet. <laughs> them Christian hoes. <laughs> That's what they doing. That's what I and I think all of them tithing. All them niggas that y'all was just talking about tithing. <laughs> the pastors are hoes. The mammies are hoes. Like them bitches hoes. Like, no, that that dolphin. That dolphin was fast as fuck. That was a preteen dolphin. <laughs> And she was asking for it. <laughs> no, I swear to God, <laughs> if black men today came out and started talking about dolphin pee, you would have a bunch of fucking mammies talking about, oh, my look better than a dolphin. I'm wetter than a dolphin. I swim better than a dolphin. Like, I swear to God. That's fact. That is um, fact. Yeah, that is they'll come out. Oh, y'all got y'all seen that new dolphin <laughs> pussy product they got? It make your pee. Oh, it'll be dolphin. Oh, it'll be, oh, it be dolphin pussy yoni pearls and shit. Out here, all kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> can I say something? Says, suck a big black dick. I'm that's what they said. I'll like, cut who? that shit off. What who said um, that? Fuck all you hoes said that. Ah, hit fuck that all you hoes. Um, well, let me, I'm trying to look for the comment, but listen, it's in the back chat. Oh, okay, you in the back chat. Oh. Wonderful. You gonna fuck around here and turn it into a smoke session? Let me let me go to the back brace y'all out ears way. because they 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 they, they scream. I mean, it was the person is not even trying to get up here. Just, oh, okay. Are are you shot well? Let's see. He's clearly yes. a better baby daddy. Y'all protect your ears. Okay. So, okay. Everybody, all right. Um, Amara shot well. Are you dusty or a mammy? Let's go. Hi, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Are you um are you um are you a, a mammy? No, ew, no. Okay, awesome. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I'm finally up here. I love you. So I, love I love you, you. back, girl. What you got? Okay, so, were, were you trolling just so that you can try to get on the panel? No, I was just like, trying to I didn't say that. I was just trying to ask you to add me. That's all I said was admin. Oh, okay. Well, there's actually a person named Fuck All You Holes that says something like that. Oh, so that's, their whole username is Fuck All You Holes. Yeah. <laughs> that shit tickles the fuck out of me. Fuck All You Holes. Mm, mm, mm. Can, when are y'all going to come up with something new? Y'all been singing Fuck All You Holes since what? 1961? Since actually. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. tricks. Uh, everybody that's listening, make sure that you get your weave together. Make sure that you don't have any kids out of wedlock. Make sure you're not a fast-ass youngin. Make sure that you speak life into your man so you won't be a hoe. Speak life into that dusty bitch. Make sure make sure you're a horse or a dolphin. Speaking life into them for generations, okay? And let, and let him dead. And let okay. him cheat respectfully. Let him cheat respectfully. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can drag that dead horse to water. It is dead. It is not going to drink. If he wear a condom, that means you should take him back, even though we know these niggas aren't even known for yeah. buying condoms. Let's Thanks. be real. You seen that out of wedlock birth, way, birth rate? Come on now. Shit, I honestly think even if they wore a condom, they so fucking ashy, those little critter sperm will come up the side on the shaft and jump in the pussy. They that toxic. <laughs> They that fucking toxic. You know what? Mm. They teleporting through the condo. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, y'all, y'all, y'all want to know what's the sad part? That woman whose horse was assaulted. You know, she said her horse didn't even look at another person in the eye for days. It wow. Was, it, it, was, it was. It was. It was having PTSD about what happened. Y'all, let's drag. Mm. Let me throw this in the comment section. Y'all, mm -hmm. check this out. I have offered you to come up, whoever's been trolling, to come and say your piece. But the thing is this, you know good and goddamn well, only thing that works with mammies is straw man arguments, guilt trips, mm -hmm. gender roles, um, traditional 50-50 uh, type shit. And you know that you mm -hmm. can't get that shit off here. What you end up doing is reducing yourself to a small ant sized son of a bitch that has mm -hmm. nothing else to do but <laughs> turn on my notifications, wait until I open up my Brad pleaser, and you're the first one here. Listen, you know what we're saying is absolutely correct. 
You know, your sons are trash. You know, your daddy was barely there. He beat the shit out of your mama. Your granddaddy had an extra grandma on the side of your grandma. Her name was Miss Pearl. That's what y'all knew her as. You have <laughs> STDs. You motherfuckers are always living paycheck to paycheck. You guys are in a mess. Throw the whole fucking community away. And I don't mean in the recycle bin because nothing can be done to make you any better. I'm talking about in the condensed, never want to see this shit again, trash. Now, I hope I've made myself clear. Throw the whole community away. I love y'all. See y'all in the Discord. DZ. DZ. Oh. <laughs> you got a question before I before I go to Discord? Yeah. You can go first. Me. Amir. What's up? Okay. I need help. Okay, well then this is what you do. If it if it's getting ready to be something traumatic, get in my inbox right now and we'll go ahead and take care of that. I don't want you to spill your um your information out here because there's a lot of how trolls you, in here tonight. How do I get in your inbox? Divest is Elliot at Okay. Divest is at gmail.com. Also, I'm gonna need, you know parental consent to even go there with you but send me an email divestazella at gmail.com who was the other person with a question it was coriander hey coriander <laughs> what's up what's up uh oh when me and um the witching hour were talking somebody's like luciferian i i'm gonna head out the thing is i want you guys to understand um Girl, not the street pri- prior to listen prior mm-hmm. to european conquests black people were not flipping mm-hmm. christian Okay, there's actually a book called How to Make a Negro Christian that details how to make black people believe that Christianity originated in Africa when it did not. When well, it's if you make, a, Coriander, yeah. if you make a stream, send the link and I'll jump right on that bitch. Okay? Oh, <laughs> oh but I, I wanted to say this. I was like, there was like, All right, I'm going to head out. I'm like, listen, divesters, we come in all different kinds of backgrounds. You have atheist divesters, Christian divesters, Muslim divesters, divesters who are witches. Right. What's important is the message that's being sent. It doesn't I mean agree. you can't listen to somebody simply because they don't have the same religious views as you, you know, because then you're missing out. It's no different than uh, certain divestors not like white men. Some of them like Asian. I hope they get that basic point. Real talk. So, yeah, I would love to be on the stream with you. Create it and I'll be there, sis. OK. All right. Peace um, out, y'all. You have, you have an Instagram. You can knock me up on there. <laughs> All right. Peace out, y'all. All right, bye bye. Bye, guys. Thank you.